Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is Yael Ezra Ben Living, aka Tommy Kurt Todd. Now I want to make this video um, addressing something that I think that is very missing um, within our community, within our nation, as being God's people, the Holy One of Israel. And I am referring to our reverence of Him. And I just want to read this verse from the book of Ecclesiastes. Uh, book of Ecclesiastes, um, chapter 12, and verse 13. I have read it many times before, and I feel that it's very relevant to be shared again because it. It will highlight what I am trying to um, get across. And the word of the Lord read as such. Hallelujah. Let us hear the whole conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Hallelujah. Now allow me to read it again because it has to be read again i want you to listen to every single word that is being spoken i want you to take the time to really ponder to really meditate upon the words that are being said let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear god fear yah Fear the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. It can also be said this way because this is the whole duty of mankind. And I want to focus on the part that says fear God. And what I believe is that is missing is that we do not fear, that we do not reverence, we do not honor, we do not um, hold to such a high esteem the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because if we truly fear him, we will keep his commandments. We will walk upright according to his teachings that he gave to the prophet Moses when he handed down to our ancestors the Torah, the divine teachings and instructions of God. So when you say you reverence God, that you fear God, it should be easy for us to obey him if we reverence him. We cannot say we fear God and willfully choose to walk contrary to that which he instructed his people to walk in. That is an actual reflection um, of, ours, uh, um, of us indeed being his people. Because you would think. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt that his people will be found walking according to his commandments. So today is the Holy Shabbat day. Now I know many Israelites do not um, believe that this is the Sabbath day. Um, there's many that believe that it will. It is only on Saturday when the sun set to when the sun, um, when the sun rise to when the sun set, they do not believe um, as I do um, that it is from Friday sunset to Saturday sunset. Um, but what I'm trying to say is, when you find yourself reverencing God. You will strive to try to walk according to his instructions. Now, we may differ on application, but we all know that the Sabbath is to be kept. We may disagree on where the Sabbath is, but we all know that the Sabbath is to be kept. It is to be 
observed by his people. Um, we who reverence God and fear God cannot, um, well, we shouldn't be walking contrary to that which he has instructed us to do as his people. Because we have to understand that we belong to him. We are his people. And he is our father. He is our God. And since we reverence him because he redeemed us. He is the one who cleansed us and made us whole. We should reverence him enough to walk according to his instructions. And without um, the understanding of if I obey him he will bless me. The ultimate blessing is that he allow us to live in his presence. If he don't never bless us with a new job, a house, a car, um, money, we should honor him. We should reverence him enough. We should be, we should wholeheartedly choose to walk according to his commandments because he has breathed life into us. He is our creator. He is our father. And that alone is enough for us to walk in obedience to him. But many people have no problem obeying God because of the fact that he will reward those who are obedient to him. But we should serve him simply because, not of the string that is attached, not, um, but simply because he is our creator he is our god he is our redeemer he is our healer he is our way maker he is our all in all and since he is all that we should reverence him and or fear him as it reads in the king james of this verse but it's speaking of a reverence of him and when we reverence him the second part should come easy it said, and keep his commandments. You cannot talk about you reverence God and not include observance. And we have to understand, we have to be observant to that which he has commanded us to do. We cannot choose to observe our own standard, our own code of ethics, and try to make it as if, it is the word of God himself. We cannot play spiritual buffet with the scriptures of Yah. We have to show that we are a people that truly reverence God, that truly fears him, that, that is devoted unto him, that loves him with all our heart, our might, our soul, our strength. And that is made um, it is made noticeable. We, we reveal that type of love and devotion we have to him, reverence we have for him, um, fear by our obedience to him, by our wholehearted obedience, our observance of that which he has commanded us to do. And we have to understand when he commanded our ancestors at Sinai, he also spoke to uh, a generation of people that did not even exist yet which includes us we are also under that same covenant that Yah spoke to our ancient forefathers so I'm going to close at this time I shared what I wanted to share but I just want you to understand we as a people must and I'm saying this we all must reverence this creator so much that it will cause us to do things that are very uncomfortable. To some people, it's very uncomfortable to tell their job that I will not work on the Sabbath. One thing about when I took the job that I took, um, when they interviewed me, I told them, I will not be working from this time to this time. And if that is an issue, 
then thank you for the opportunity, but no thanks. They said we could work with you on that. That's, that's no problem. But I made it known to them because I reverence God enough to know that I must keep this covenant a Sabbath. And if I have enough reverence to um, tell my um, my applore, my applore that I will keep the Sabbath out of love and respect of my Creator, there's other things as well that I must show reverence and awe to the Creator and observe. Because remember, this verse plainly said, "Let us hear the whole." Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. So I want you to meditate upon that verse. Dissect it. Take it apart. Put it back together. Look at it closely. And then have a deep inner search of yourself. And ask yourself, even as I had to ask myself. Do I really fear Yah? Do I really fear God? And if the answer is yes, we have to gravitate to the final piece of the puzzle. Observance to his commandments. This is your brother Yael Ezra Ben Levy, a.k.a. Todd, a.k.a. Tommy Kurt Todd. Shalom, love, and blessings, family. Till next time. Out.